See you, Ross. Have a good day. <laughs> nice driving ballerina, Beth. Will you be careful spinning like that on the roads? That seems like all the traffic. It's probably safe for me to cross the road. Hello there. I'm Policeman Ben, and welcome to the Workers' Happy Home. I live here with my worker friends, and we play music in the Workers' Rock and Roll Band. But today, well, today I've been playing traffic lights. Do you like to pretend and play too? Well, as a police officer, it's my job to make sure that people stay safe and secure, especially on the roads. So, I've been practising my hand actions. Have you ever seen a police officer do the following hand actions? Or... Or even... Sometimes the traffic lights break down and it's my job as a police officer to go and help the traffic. Did you notice the special hand actions that I used in my policeman song? This action means stop, stop, well done. It's a bit like the red light here. It means that the cars have to stop at the red light or with my stop hand action. Another hand action I used was go, go, well done. It's a bit like the green traffic light, isn't it? The cars can proceed through the traffic lights. Well, do you know, being a police officer is a really, really special job and it's so important. I wouldn't change it for anything in the whole world. Well, except maybe playing my guitar. <laughs> Speaking of playing my guitar, my worker friend should be here soon so we can play a few songs. <gasps> here comes one of them now. <laughs> nice driving there, Marcy. That's it. Good work. Back over you come. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Marcy. Good driving, oh, then. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Dr Marcy. I was just driving my big white ambulance around the countryside mm. to check up on my patients. Mm, how did that go? Oh, very well. Good. Good how day. How are you, Ben? Oh, look, I'm good. Everything's tip-top shape here. We're all ready to go. I've got my guitar ready oh. over there and we're going to play some songs. Oh, son, I yeah, love songs. Yeah, the rest of the work should be here any minute. Here they come right now. Nice, Ross. Well done, ballerina Beth. All right, over you come. Back it up nice and slowly, 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 slowly. Wait there, please. Nice driving. Guys, how did you go out in the countryside today? Oh, I had a lovely day in the countryside. Thanks, Ben. Oh, hello there. I'm ballerina Beth. I actually had a performance today at the Country Town Fair. Oh, nice. But on the way back, there was a big roadblock and I had to get Fireman Ross to come and rescue me. Rescue? rescue? Thanks, yes. Ross. My pleasure, Beth. And it's my pleasure to meet you too. Hi, I'm Fireman Ross. And as a firefighter, I'm usually fighting fires. Mm. But luckily today, there were no fires. Oh, no fires? Oh. Well, is everything OK? Well, it is now, but... Someone left the gate open at the farm and all the cows managed to get out and start playing on the road. Oh. But luckily, I used all my firefighter strength and my loud firefighter siren, eeyore, eeyore, and managed to get all the cows safely back behind the fence. Oh, good job, Ross. Um, Ross, I think you might have missed one of those cows. <laughs> 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 He's <laughs> funny old fellow. <laughs> well, I'm not really a cow worker, it's me, Builder John. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Beth, 
everything is okay. I fixed the gate with my tools. The cows are safe back behind the fence. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Good John. Work, John. Good job. Seems like we can do a great job wherever we are, workers. You got it. Now, guys, all this talk of the countryside today has got me thinking. What about we sing a song about all the jobs that we could do down on the farm? Yeah. 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 to work. But I was wondering, if a farmer didn't have a big red truck, what would they use to herd up all the cows? Marcy, well I know something that every farmer has. Man's best friend. A farm dog. <laughs> of course. A farm dog could help the farmer herd the cows. <laughs> but Marcy, what if there were lots of cows? Oh, lots of cows? Yeah. Oh, maybe they could use a horse. Of course. On a horse, they'd be able to ride around just like a cowboy. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, but Ross, what if there were even more cows? More cows. I've got it. Excuse me, Marcy. Okay. Oh, I hop on my motorbike. <laughs> Of course, a motorbike. The farmer could drive all around the farm really fast on the motorbike. Ross, what if there were hundreds and hundreds of cows? I know. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> a helicopter. A helicopter, of course. The farmer can fly up. And down, and around, and about, swoosh, swoosh. Hi, Buzz. Now I'm really dizzy. <laughs> hey, what are you workers up to? Oh, Buzz, we've just been trying to decide what jobs we should do first on the farm. <laughs> What have you been up to today? Well, I was flying a helicopter and now I'm going to do what bees do best. I'm going to make some honey in my beehive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you later, workers. Bye. See you, Buzz. <laughs> Bye, Buzz. <laughs> Did you know that some farms make honey? That's right. And the people that look after the bees that make the honey are called beekeepers. That's 
just given me a great idea. I know which job I want to do first. <laughs> I'm going to look after all the baby animals to help make them big and strong and healthy. Oh, John, if you can't think about what job you want to do, why don't you come and help me look after the animals? Oh, well, I could, Beth, but I'm a builder. And there's so many different jobs I could do on the farm, building and fixing all sorts of different things, but I just can't decide which thing to do first. Oh, John, why don't we ask our friends? Maybe they can help. Yes, can you think of what John can do on the farm? Yes, maybe you could fix a roof. Yeah, mm. do that. Or uh, build some stables for the horses. Ah. <laughs> You could even draw some designs. Mm. Oh, good idea. Was that a knock on the door? Are we expecting company today? <laughs> John. Oh. Beth. Hi, right, Ben. I've got a very special guest today. I would like you to meet my friend, Farmer Wazza. <laughs> farmer Wazza. Hi, Farmer Hi. Wazza. Hi, you farmer. Oh. Hello. Lovely now, I understand you've been talking about jobs that you'd like to do on a farm. That's yeah. right. <laughs> well, I have a very special job on a farm. Mm. I'm an egg farmer. Ooh, so, Farmer Wazza, I bet in that box you've got right there, you've got lots of eggs for the workers to eat. Almost, John. They're not the eggs that you would have at home in your fridge, mm. but they used to be very, very special eggs mm. up until this morning. Until they became... Oh. <gasps> chickens! <laughs> They're baby chickens! <gasps> Can I hold one, Farmer Wazza? Absolutely, <laughs> Beth. Oh. Just need to be very, yes. very careful with them. Because oh, they're look. only little. <laughs> oh, here we are. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, should we count how many chickens are in this little box? That's a good idea. Good idea. All right. Yes. Let's just pop all the chickens out of the box very carefully. Would you like to help me, Farmer Wazza? Absolutely. Look at their little fluffy feathers, oh, aren't they look gorgeous? At them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at these Here's little a big orange. one look. on top. Ooh, great. They're so cute. Oh, so some lovely. Some brown ones, some color. yellow ones. <gasps> Here they're beautiful. We are. Farmer Wazza, you've got an orange one there. Ooh, Absolutely. Lovely. I think there's one more. Farmer was a there is two. Look at okay, oh, let's count goodness. how many chickens we have. <laughs> okay, we have one, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> Oh, Ten little, little chickens. chickens. <laughs> you must be so proud, Wazza. Oh, absolutely, I am. How are you doing over there, John? Oh, it's just so emotional, Farmer Wazza, these beautiful little baby chickens. Oh, John, you know what? These little guys, now they've hatched out of their eggs, are going to need a home so they can grow into big chickens. And I think you might be just the man to do a bit of building. <laughs> There's a job for me, Beth. I'm going to build a special chicken house for these chickens. How would that be, Farmer Wazza? That'd be fantastic, John. <laughs> Hands 
under your arms. Are you ready? Here we go. Fluffy feathered friends. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten little beds for my fluffy feathered friends. <laughs> there you go. Now that's much better. Another great Builder John house. Wow, look at all those fresh eggs. Gee, thanks, little chicken friends. One, two, three, four, five little eggs for my Six, seven, eight, nine, ten little eggs for my happy worker friends. Hello, I'm Newsreader Marcy, and welcome to the Workers' News, the news that moves you. Oink, nay, and ba are all sounds that you hear on a farm. But where exactly do those sounds come from? Junior reporter Paris is on the case. Paris. Hi, I'm Junior Reporter Paris for The Workers News and today we're looking at baby animals. There are all different types of baby animals. Now, you've heard of a hen, haven't you? But have you heard of a chick? Chick's just a baby name for hen. And these little ones are kids. They're baby goats. Well, it's time to get close and furry with some baby animals. These baby animals are so cute and fluffy. This is a lamb. That's what we call a baby sheep. The name for this baby pig is a piglet. They're hungry little babies. They just love to play. These are baby ducks, also known as ducklings. Hello Harrison, you've seemed to made a nice furry friend and what you got there? A chick. And is that your favourite animal? Yes. Why is the chick your favourite animal? Because it's very furry and it, li and it likes slime on my lap. Oh, thanks Harrison. And it's very nice to meet you. Hello Charlotte, how are you? Good. And who have you got there? Rapunzel. And what colour is Rapunzel? Golden. What type of noise does Rapunzel make? Cheep, cheep. Cheep, cheep, because it's a little chicken. Yeah, that's right, it's a chick. Thanks, Charlotte. It's important to take care of our baby animals. We're brushing them gently. We have to feed the baby animals healthy food. The most important thing we can do is give these baby animals lots of love. how this farmyard get-together has turned into a barnyard party. I've learnt so much about animals today and I hope you have too. This is Junior Reporter Paris signing off for the Workers' News. Keep on chirping. That's all we have time for. I'm Newsreader Marcy and you have been watching the Workers' News, the news that moves you. <laughs>。know what helps to keep bones strong? <laughs> Lots of healthy green vegetables like broccoli, spinach 
<laughs> and celery. Nuts and seeds are also great for your bones. And of course, lots of yummy fruits like apples, oranges and bananas. Yum! <laughs> but nothing beats cow's milk for healthy bones. <laughs> I know. Why don't we go down to the farm now and milk the cows? <laughs> I've made some sheep. I thought, well, because we're down on the farm, I thought I'd make some different coloured sheep. I've made a red sheep, a black sheep, a yellow sheep, a blue sheep, and a pink sheep. I thought I'd make one more sheep. I'm going to make a white sheep. I've cut out a, the shape of a sheep earlier and I'm going to use some pegs for the sheep's legs. One peg there, two. There we go. Is that looking a little bit like a sheep? Hi there, John. Mm. Hi, Ross. Hey, what have you got here? Oh, you're just in time. I was just showing everybody how I've made my sheep. Look at all the different colours. They, they look, look they? fantastic. Yeah. So this is the one I'm making here, Ross. Oh, John, that reminds me mm. of a very special job down on the farm that uses scissors to cut the sheep's wool when it gets too long. Right. Yeah. Do you know what that job's called? No, what is it? It's called a shearer. A shearer. Yeah. So a shearer cuts the wool off a sheep when it gets too That's long. That's right. But your sheep doesn't need cutting at this stage. It's got no wool on it. Not yet. So let's put some wool on this sheep. Great right? idea. How do you do that? All right. Well, I'm going to put this white wool on. So we're going to oh, I see. Round and around. Does that make it nice and woolly and fluffy? Yeah, it's going to be very fluffy. Could you just hold the wool yeah, there, sure. Ross? So yep. I just unwind it yep. for me. So no problems. Put it on, so I'll put a little bit around there. Oh, he's looking great, John. It's looking good, isn't it? Yep. Keep going. It's getting very woolly. <laughs> very woolly sheep. Nice white wool on our sheep. He's certainly going to need to be having the farmer mm. shear him soon. Yeah. Have you seen sheep down on a farm? Sometimes you can see lots and lots of sheep in paddocks on farms. <laughs> wow. We're going there, Ross. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Lots and lots of wool on our sheep. He looks great, John. <laughs> oh, he's starting to bar like a sheep, <laughs> Ross. It's nearly there. Bit more wool. That is certainly one woolly sheep. 
Look at that. Oh, he looks great. Shall we put him in the paddock with all the other sheep? Why not? So he can make some friends? Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so many different coloured sheep. That reminds me of a song, Ross. What? Bar Bar Black Sheep. Yeah, I know that song. That's a great song. How about we change that song a little bit, though, and we have Bar Bar Coloured Sheep. All the different colours. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. There are lots of different coloured sheep. Ba, ba, what sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, white bags full. <laughs> One for Dr. Marcy, like a doctor's coat. Uh -huh. One for fluffy rabbits and for soft white snow. Snowflakes keep falling on my hair. Baba blue sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, blue bags full. <laughs> blue for policeman Ben, like his shirt and his pants. That's right. Blue berries, blue pencils, blue elephants. <laughs> There's no such thing as blue elephants. Papa pink sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, pink bags full. Pink for ballerina, Beth, like her pink tutu. Pink lips, nail polish, and pink ballet shoes. P I N K, pink bags full. Papa red sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, red. Bags full. Uh -huh. Red for Fireman Ross, like his fire truck. You bet. Red socks, red apples, red ladybugs. Imagine how small red socks would have to be to fit on the ladybug. Baba, yellow sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yellow bags full. Yellow for my hard hat, little yellow ducks. Yellow lemons, yellow flowers, yellow sun. Oh, so many coloured sheep. Coloured sheep? Have you ever seen yellow sheep? Guys, I had a great time today pretending to work down on the farm. It's amazing what a little bit of teamwork does. Um, yeah. Hey, I wasn't pretending. I actually did make lots and lots <laughs> of honey. <laughs> Here you go, workers. Oh, Buzz, you are you a brilliant bee. <laughs> oh, thanks. It's a pleasure to be of assistance. <laughs> I got to fly. I'll see you later, workers. Bye. See you Bye. Later. Bye, Buzz. Hey, guys, how much fun was it today when I introduced you to my friend, Farmer Wazza? Oh. I understand you've been talking about jobs that you'd like to do on a farm. That's yeah. right. <laughs> well, I have a very special job on a farm. Mm. I'm an egg farmer. Ross, I have heard that if you count sheep, it can actually help you to fall asleep. No. No, yeah, I have. I've heard that. What? Would you like to try it with us? All right, then. Here we go. Are you ready? One sheep. Two, two sheep, sheep. Three sheep. Four sheep. Five sheep. Six sheep. Seven sheep. Eight sheep, nine sheep, ten sheep. <laughs> Shh. I think it's working. <laughs> and as we always say, until next time, keep, keep on, on working. Workers! Workers! <laughs>